In the tumultuous landscape of international relations, conflicts often arise, fueled by historical grievances, ideological differences, and geopolitical ambitions. Among these persistent tensions is the complex and long-standing conflict between Israel and Iran. As the two nations find themselves entangled in a web of political, military, and religious discord, it's worth exploring how ancient wisdom, particularly Stoic philosophy, can offer insights and reflections to navigate such modern conflicts. Stoicism, a school of thought that originated in ancient Greece and Rome, offers timeless principles for living a virtuous and meaningful life, even in the face of adversity. Its teachings emphasize the importance of reason, self-control, and acceptance of the things beyond our control. Applying Stoic principles to contemporary conflicts like the Israel-Iran dispute can provide a framework for understanding, resilience, and constructive action. One fundamental Stoic concept relevant to conflict resolution is the dichotomy of control. According to Stoicism, there are things within our control, such as our thoughts, actions, and attitudes, and things beyond our control, such as external events and the actions of others. In the context of the Israel-Iran conflict, recognizing this distinction can help individuals and policymakers focus their efforts on what they can influence, such as diplomatic negotiations, humanitarian aid, and fostering understanding, rather than becoming consumed by frustration or resentment over circumstances beyond their control. Another Stoic principle that can inform responses to conflict is the practice of negative visualization. This involves imagining the worst-case scenarios and preparing oneself mentally to cope with them. In the context of the Israel-Iran conflict, acknowledging the potential consequences of escalating tensions, such as armed conflict, displacement of civilians, and regional destabilization, can inspire proactive measures to prevent or mitigate such outcomes. By contemplating the potential human suffering and loss associated with conflict, individuals and leaders may be motivated to seek peaceful resolutions and de-escalation strategies. Stoicism also emphasizes the importance of perspective and the ability to view events from a broader, more objective standpoint. In the case of the Israel-Iran conflict, Adopting a Stoic perspective can involve recognizing the historical and cultural factors that contribute to the animosity between the two nations, as well as considering the perspectives and interests of other stakeholders in the region and the international community. By transcending narrow tribal loyalties and ideological biases, individuals can cultivate empathy, dialogue, and cooperation, essential ingredients for sustainable peace and reconciliation. Furthermore, Stoicism promotes the cultivation of virtues such as courage, temperance, and justice, which are indispensable for constructive engagement in conflict resolution efforts. Courage enables individuals to confront difficult truths, challenge entrenched beliefs, and advocate for peaceful solutions, even in the face of opposition or hostility. Temperance encourages moderation and restraint in speech and action, preventing escalation and promoting rational discourse. Justice guides individuals and institutions toward equitable and fair outcomes that address the underlying grievances and aspirations of all parties involved. One of the most renowned Stoic philosophers, Marcus Aurelius, who served as Roman Emperor during a time of external threats and internal challenges, offers insights that resonate with the complexities of modern conflicts. In his Meditations, Aurelius reflects on the transient nature of power, the inevitability of change, and the importance of integrity and moral character. His writings remind us of the fleeting nature of political rivalries and the enduring value of wisdom, virtue, and inner peace. Understanding the Israel-Iran conflict reveals a multifaceted geopolitical issue rooted in historical, religious, and ideological differences, with tensions between these two nations escalating over the years due to competing interests in the Middle East and the broader international arena, encompassing proxy wars, regional power struggles, and nuclear proliferation concerns. Here are some Stoic principles you can reflect on regarding the conflict between people and Israel. Number 1. Focus on virtue. Stoicism places great emphasis on moral virtue as the highest good. In the context of the Israel-Iran conflict, adopting a virtuous approach means prioritizing justice, empathy, and cooperation over aggression and hostility. Number 2. Acceptance of the present moment. 
Stoicism teaches the importance of accepting the reality of the present moment, even in the face of adversity. While the conflict between Israel and Iran may seem intractable, acknowledging the current situation without succumbing to despair allows for a clearer perspective on potential paths to resolution. Number 3. Control of Emotions. Stoicism encourages individuals to cultivate emotional resilience and maintain inner peace, regardless of external events. Amidst the volatility of international politics, practicing emotional self-control can help prevent rash decisions driven by fear or anger. Number 4. Pragmatic Action. Stoicism advocates for taking practical and rational action in pursuit of the common good. When approaching the Israel-Iran conflict, this means engaging in diplomatic efforts, fostering dialogue, and seeking peaceful resolutions that address the underlying grievances of all parties involved. Number 5. Transcending Tribalism. Stoicism challenges the notion of narrow tribal affiliations and encourages a broader sense of kinship with humanity as a whole. Applying this principle to the Israel-Iran conflict entails recognizing the shared humanity of all individuals affected by the violence and working toward solutions that promote mutual understanding and reconciliation. Number 6. Maintaining Equanimity. Stoicism emphasizes the importance of maintaining inner tranquility amidst chaos. By cultivating a sense of equanimity, Individuals can approach the Israel-Iran conflict with clarity and composure, enabling them to make sound decisions and contribute positively to resolution efforts. Number 7. Embracing Impermanence. Stoicism teaches that all things are impermanent, including conflicts and crises. By recognizing the transient nature of geopolitical tensions, individuals can adopt a more detached perspective allowing them to navigate the Israel-Iran conflict with greater resilience and adaptability. Number 8. Seeking Wisdom Through Reflection. Stoicism encourages introspection and self-examination as a means of attaining wisdom. In the context of the Israel-Iran conflict, taking time for reflection can foster a deeper understanding of the underlying causes and dynamics at play, empowering individuals to contribute more effectively to peace-building efforts. Number 9. Cultivating Gratitude. Stoicism promotes gratitude as a powerful antidote to suffering and discontent. Amidst the turmoil of the Israel-Iran conflict, cultivating a sense of gratitude for the blessings of peace and stability can help individuals maintain perspective and resilience in the face of adversity. Number 10. Fostering Global Citizenship. Stoicism advocates for a cosmopolitan outlook that transcends narrow loyalties and embraces a sense of global citizenship. By recognizing our interconnectedness with people around the world, individuals can approach the Israel-Iran conflict with empathy, compassion, and a commitment to fostering peace and understanding on a global scale. In conclusion, as the Israel-Iran conflict continues to unfold, Drawing upon the timeless wisdom of Stoicism can provide a framework for understanding and addressing the complexities of this geopolitical challenge. By embracing virtues such as wisdom, courage, and justice, individuals and policymakers alike can navigate these turbulent waters with greater clarity, resilience, and compassion. In an era marked by uncertainty and division, the ancient wisdom of Stoicism offers a beacon of hope and guidance for forging a path towards peace and stability in our modern world. Number 11. Promoting Education and Dialogue. In the complex and deeply entrenched Israel-Iran conflict, fostering education and dialogue based on Stoic principles can serve as essential tools for fostering understanding and reconciliation. Firstly, a comprehensive educational approach can provide crucial insights into the historical, cultural, and political intricacies that underpin the conflict. By delving into the root causes of the animosity between Israel and Iran, individuals on both sides can develop a deeper appreciation for the complexities at play and recognize the legitimate grievances and aspirations of the other party. Moreover, education can help dispel misconceptions and stereotypes that often fuel animosity and distrust. By promoting accurate and nuanced understanding of each other's perspectives, education can lay the groundwork for empathy and mutual respect. 
This can be achieved through initiatives such as cultural exchange programs, academic collaborations, and public awareness campaigns that highlight the shared heritage and humanity of both Israelis and Iranians. Furthermore, creating dialogue platforms where individuals from both sides can come together in a spirit of openness and receptivity is essential for building trust and fostering constructive engagement. These platforms can take various forms, including peace conferences, track two diplomacy initiatives, and grassroots peacebuilding efforts facilitated by civil society organizations. By providing safe and inclusive spaces for dialogue, participants can explore common ground, address grievances, and envision shared solutions to the conflict. In addition to promoting education and dialogue, it is crucial to empower grassroots peacebuilders and civil society actors who are working tirelessly to bridge divides and promote reconciliation at the local level. These individuals and organizations play a vital role in fostering community cohesion, promoting interfaith dialogue, and advocating for peaceful coexistence. By supporting their efforts financially, logistically, and politically, Stakeholders can amplify their impact and contribute to sustainable peacebuilding initiatives. Moreover, incorporating stoic principles such as emotional resilience, empathy, and rational discourse into educational curricula and dialogue processes can help participants navigate difficult conversations and overcome entrenched biases. By cultivating a mindset of open-mindedness and intellectual humility, individuals can transcend ideological divides and work towards mutually beneficial outcomes. Ultimately, promoting education and dialogue based on stoic principles offers a holistic approach to addressing the Israel-Iran conflict. By fostering understanding, empathy, and constructive engagement, stakeholders can lay the foundation for lasting peace and reconciliation in the region. While the path towards resolution may be challenging and fraught with obstacles, the commitment to continuous learning and dialogue is essential for building a future characterized by harmony and cooperation. Number 12. Encouraging Humanitarian Assistance In the midst of the Israel-Iran conflict, the stoic principle of aiding those in need takes on profound significance. Humanitarian assistance, grounded in compassion and solidarity, offers a tangible expression of empathy and care amidst the turmoil of geopolitical tensions. Prioritizing such assistance for the affected populations, including civilians caught in the crossfire, refugees, and internally displaced persons, is not only a moral imperative but also a strategic opportunity to transcend political differences and foster goodwill between nations. First and foremost, humanitarian assistance serves as a lifeline for vulnerable individuals and communities grappling with the devastating consequences of conflict. By providing essential aid such as food, clean water, shelter, and medical care, humanitarian organizations can alleviate immediate suffering and prevent further loss of life. This direct impact on the ground underscores the practical relevance of stoic principles in addressing human suffering and promoting well-being. Moreover, humanitarian assistance carries symbolic significance beyond its immediate humanitarian benefits. By demonstrating compassion and solidarity towards those affected by the conflict, nations can signal their commitment to universal values of humanity and dignity. This gesture of goodwill has the potential to foster trust and understanding between adversaries, laying the groundwork for dialogue and cooperation towards peaceful resolution. Furthermore, humanitarian assistance can serve as a conduit for building bridges between communities and nations divided by conflict. By engaging in collaborative relief efforts, individuals from different backgrounds and affiliations can come together in a spirit of solidarity and mutual aid. This shared experience of working towards a common goal can help break down stereotypes and prejudices, fostering empathy and reconciliation across divides. In addition to its immediate humanitarian and symbolic benefits, prioritizing humanitarian assistance can also contribute to long-term conflict resolution efforts. By addressing the root causes of suffering and instability, such as poverty, displacement, and lack of access to basic services, humanitarian interventions can help create conditions conducive to peacebuilding and reconciliation. Moreover, by demonstrating a genuine commitment to the well-being of all individuals affected by the conflict, nations can build trust and goodwill, laying the foundation for sustained dialogue and cooperation. 
Furthermore, by providing humanitarian assistance impartially and without discrimination, nations can uphold principles of justice and fairness, transcending partisan interests and political considerations. This commitment to humanitarian principles not only enhances the credibility and legitimacy of relief efforts but also reinforces the moral authority of nations in the international community. In conclusion, encouraging humanitarian assistance amidst the Israel-Iran conflict is not only a moral imperative but also a pragmatic opportunity to transcend political differences and promote peace and understanding. By prioritizing the well-being of vulnerable populations and demonstrating compassion and solidarity, nations can build trust, foster dialogue, and lay the groundwork for lasting reconciliation. In the face of adversity, the Stoic principle of aiding those in need offers a guiding light towards a more compassionate and humane world. Number 13. Advocating for Nuclear Disarmament In the complex geopolitical landscape of the Israel-Iran conflict, Advocating for nuclear disarmament and nonproliferation embodies the stoic principle of acting in accordance with reason and moral principles. The proliferation of nuclear weapons poses an existential threat not only to the immediate parties involved but to global stability and security. Thus, prioritizing dialogue and cooperation towards denuclearization efforts is not only imperative but aligns with the stoic commitment to pursuing the common good and fostering peace. Firstly, advocating for nuclear disarmament is rooted in the recognition of the catastrophic consequences of nuclear conflict. Stoicism emphasizes the importance of considering the long-term consequences of one's actions and acting in a manner that upholds the well-being of all individuals. Given the potential for mass destruction and loss of life inherent in nuclear warfare, Working towards disarmament is not only a moral imperative but a pragmatic necessity for safeguarding humanity. Moreover, promoting dialogue and cooperation towards denuclearization efforts reflects the stoic value of seeking rational and constructive solutions to complex problems. Rather than resorting to brinkmanship and militaristic posturing, nations can engage in meaningful negotiations and diplomacy to address nuclear proliferation concerns. By fostering a climate of trust and transparency, Stakeholders can overcome mutual suspicions and work towards verifiable disarmament agreements that enhance regional and global security. Furthermore, advocating for nuclear disarmament is consistent with stoic principles of courage and moral integrity. It takes courage to challenge the status quo and push for radical changes in the pursuit of peace and justice. By speaking out against the dangers of nuclear proliferation and advocating for concrete steps towards disarmament, Individuals and nations demonstrate moral leadership and uphold their ethical responsibilities to future generations. In addition to its moral imperative, advocating for nuclear disarmament carries practical benefits for regional and global stability. By reducing the number of nuclear armed states and eliminating the threat of nuclear conflict, nations can create a more conducive environment for dialogue, cooperation, and conflict resolution. Moreover, Denuclearization efforts can free up resources and attention to address pressing humanitarian and development challenges, contributing to overall human well-being. Furthermore, promoting nuclear disarmament can help build trust and confidence between nations embroiled in conflict, including Israel and Iran. By demonstrating a genuine commitment to reducing nuclear risks and promoting peace, nations can signal their willingness to engage in constructive dialogue and diplomacy towards resolving underlying grievances and tensions. This can create opportunities for de-escalation and confidence-building measures, paving the way for broader reconciliation and cooperation. In conclusion, Advocating for nuclear disarmament amidst the Israel-Iran conflict is not only a moral imperative but a pragmatic necessity for safeguarding global security and promoting peace. By aligning with stoic principles of reason, moral integrity, and courage, individuals and nations can work towards a world free from the specter of nuclear warfare, where dialogue, cooperation, and diplomacy prevail. In the face of existential threats, the stoic commitment to the common good offers a guiding framework for building a safer and more stable future for all.